Oi, 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 bitches, welcome. I no longer have a hair. Merch, buy that sh Let's hop over here. I got a whole bunch of submissions. Only unfinished sketch I could find. Truly sorry. Yeah, you should be truly sorry. What am I looking at right now? Here's my sketch for the submission. You can give her some clothes in the background. Not gonna accept this exclusively because you used that smiley. Howdy. Thought I might as well send something in. It's from a bit ago and I just haven't got around to finishing it. Here you go. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I, I do be enjoying this is the first one i'm a screenshot dude with an axe awoke the big monster definitely not at all inspired by elden ring <laughs> it's more like a thumbnail i feel like i would have to do a lot of redrawing here it's cool though i do enjoy this what does this mean oh wait that's like my oh <laughs> I made a manga in February 11th, 2021. It's a guy finding a watermelon in the wild and being offered his fork and not using it. Yo, Chala Z Erd, I tried making this really beautiful picture featured this random OC I made in a video game, was gonna finish it, but got bored. Fun fact, I drew this in a public space and after leaving the drawing for a few seconds to go get something, someone drew a pee pee on the corner of the drawings, shaking my head. Yeah, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. So where's the pee pee? I don't see it. In the corner? Yeah, I don't see it. This is a sketch I did of this house House man fishing. House man fishing from a toilet. I do not want to finish this. The idea was that the demon is more or less rejected from society, so the only place she can stay at is the trash or some shit. Okay, so this is like a, um um uh I don't know. I'm, I like the smoke coming off the jacket, but I have no idea how I do that digitally. I'd love to see her interpretation. Smoke coming off the jacket. I mean that's kind of cool actually. I might did uh, consider this one. Hello, Chalo. This sketch was about an alien warrior who will invade Earth one day. Yeah, there's no way this guy's gonna invade Earth. I'ma beat his ass up. Hello there. This is an old sketch I did for an Inktober a while back. That's actually kind of cool. What the fuck? I like the concept. I am enjoying that snake uh, head entrance to a cave. <laughs> Only a few minutes after starting this one, I realized I'd be better off making a base for this in 3D instead of just trying to draw it out by hand. So I modeled some very basic platform type thing to use as the platform that the snake head will be standing on. In my head, I had imagined like an epic detailed snake head with scales and like eyes, whatever else goes on a snake head. But I quickly realized I am bad at modeling. <laughs> and left it as a basic blocky model. I mean, it kind of still works because it's supposed to be a stone structure and doesn't actually need all that extra detail. Or maybe that's just a convenient excuse for being shot at Blender, you will never know. So I briefly brought it into Glyph Studio to start drawing over it, but I realized I should add more stuff to it. Cause like, where does the head actually lead to? Like you just walk into it and then fall out from the other <laughs> side. Where is the logic, my brain? That's a question to my brain. So I started modeling a wall, implying that it leads to some sort of ancient temple. To quickly add some damage to the walls, I'm using a plugin called One Click Damage, which I acquired from Blender Marketplace. For the lighting, I went with an overhead light coming slightly from behind to create an ominous sort of atmosphere where only the tongue of the snake will receive light, leaving the actual entrance in shadow. I started sketching over the model and coloring it in. I left the actual 3D model visible in the image instead of hiding it and started adding some quick textures and colors over it on overlay. Mode. For the ground, I used a bunch of random texture brushes to make a mess here and just warped it over the ground to make it seem like it is on there as a placeholder. But I wasn't sure yet what to do with the rest of the scene, so I tried adding in some trees here to visualize what that would do to the composition, but uh, it, it, it wasn't really working, uh, something about it felt off. So I went back into Blender to try and add some more stone structures here to fill out the space. This time like some sculpture type things on the sides of the entrance and another snake head type thing on the back wall where I thought I would hang down a banner from... Spoiler alert, I didn't do much with this banner either later in the scene. Now this should be a very old structure, so I painted some mossy texture on these bad boys to start out the actual painting phase where I realized just how much work this whole thing is going to be if I want it to look acceptable. So I knew I would have to take some shortcuts and the best shortcut in my book of shortcuts is photo bashing, which works when I'm working on more realistic type images. 
images like this. So I busted out my old photo bashing kits and uh, started placing in some greenery, some foliage, some grass, some textures on various surfaces. Used some photos that I had taken myself a few years back, which was cool. So yeah, some rocks, moss, moss grass but of course photo elements can't do all the work for you you still have to do a bit of painting to tie them all together in a logical way to just avoid it looking like a random collage of photos but i mean the majority of the lifting was still done by the photos in this case but it was fun it was pretty epic i did manage to get into the flow state multiple times during this process i mean two times but two is still multiple anyway yeah that's pretty rare for me these days for some reason i don't haven't gotten into the flow state very often. When I started adding fog and atmosphere to the piece, I accidentally put it in front of the snake head. At that moment, I got an idea. Hey, what if there would be some smoke coming from inside the temple or the cave or whatever? Like it's a snake head, it's a reptile head. It's kind of like a dragon almost. Has like that sort of fantasy-esque effect, which just adds some character to the piece overall, you know? So that was a cool, funny accident, a happy accident, if you will. That's about as much as I did with this piece. I'm not entirely happy with the end result. It could still use like a bunch of work, but I mean, it can pass as finished and I cannot take forever with these videos. So here it is. second submission today actually originated from my Patreon Discord server. We recently had an event on there where we all finished each other's sketches. So everybody posted their sketch, the list of participants was randomized, and that determined who would finish whose sketch. So this is the one I got. Alright, so let's get started. The first steps on this one were pretty straightforward. The original sketch was pretty solid as far as anatomy and structure, and I didn't have to make much major changes. I do enjoy one thing in particular about my version though, and that is the eyes. How the eyes turned out. They have like a cool 3D anime type look to them. Well, I don't actually know if that's a correct description, but anyway, I also had the crack my brain a fair bit to figure out how the shirt folds would fall in a pose like this. So to cheat the system, I did a quick photo shoot myself to help myself figure out the one. It's actually pretty simple, like to just fold downwards like this, but my brain just wasn't working at that moment. One bigger change I made though was the direction of her long braids. The purpose of this was to create a more cohesive flow of shapes in the image. But yeah, that's about as much as I did with the lines. I initially thought I was gonna go for some sort of vibrant, colorful, epic lighting setup here. I started it off as a big red overhead light, since red is a very strong color. I thought it would be appropriate to use a gradient to start it off, since the light wouldn't be reaching anywhere past the lowest point of the gradient anyways. So I started erasing and brightening areas of the light layer as I usually do to bring out the forms. To make it easier to shade around sharp edges with a soft brush, it's useful to make some selections for specific areas like I did here for the hair, since I didn't want to erase what was behind the hair. Just a pro tip. I kept fiddling with the light and trying to figure out the logic behind the cast shadows and the highlights. I did that until arriving at a detailed enough level in my eyes. Next was the side light. I started this one out the same way and the process is pretty much the same as well except the direction of the light is just different this time and finally i added a third light from the other side so the same process all over again so i'll just skip over it so now it was time to add in base colors so it wouldn't just look like a clay figure being hit by colorful lights usually i do this before doing the lighting but it wasn't feeling like it this time once that was done it was time to start experimenting with the intensities and colors of these three lights to come up with some sort of cool artistic epic vibey look sipping on the drink of champions sponsor me monster energy but uh, i couldn't really find the satisfying color combination fast enough so i just ended up playing it safe and making the top light a neutral white-ish color yeah i low-key regret this decision because kind of a 
lazy move. Could have just taken a break and come back to it afterwards. You're like saved multiple combinations to see what would look best. But yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. And finally, the background. I got lazy, but in a smart way. So I had painted this grid on the ground before at the start of the process to indicate the perspective, to just get a better feel for the perspective of the scene. So I just ended up turning that into like a tile floor that uh, apparently goes all the way back like kilometers behind her. So it just looks like she's in an endless void. It's kind of like the back rooms or something. Yeah, Jinx in the back rooms, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. There's the title of the video. Nobody's gonna click on that. Anyways, that's about it for this one. So now we move on to Bond's sketch. Really good <laughs> sketch. Like, I'd be happy to have this sketch. Oh, I didn't realize there were actually was Chella merch in the sketch. I was... <laughs> you gotta plug it anywhere you can. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect for the video. Um, I know. Like it's you know. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. The face is just so good. Like I, I think that's a thumbnail right there, Chala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already made the thumbnail actually. And I use this. <laughs> is there writing on the tiles back there? What is uh, that? It's, nah, just it's just the texture. It's marble flooring. She's fancy. Yeah, just in an empty, endless room of marble floor. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Bruh, check out my SoundCloud.